Hi guys, welcome to the channel. We have a new version of the Samsung One UI Home. Let me zoom a bit so that we can all read the changelog. Hey, what is new here? All right, I'm gonna take the phone in my hand. So, improve performance and fix bugs when using swipe gestures, fix bugs when editing home screen, fix bugs when using recents, fix bugs and improve stability, a lot of fix bugs I can tell you, support new features of task changer, you need, of course, to have good luck. Home app update is also required. And actually, that's quite neat because a lot of people were asking myself, hey, what is up with Touch Changer? You know, it's gone from one area to one. And at some point, Samsung said, all right, we're going to bring it back. Now, of course, not as a standalone model, but part of this home app. And sadly, not all the features are there. So I just want to first show you what we have right now in Good Luck Home App. And then we're going to hit up the update and see the new things. All right, this is the Good Luck that I'm using right now. And if I go here to Home App, you're going to see that the version that I'm currently using is the version 2.0.0.1.11. So I don't have yet the update, but if you go here to Task Changer, I can quickly share what we have. So it is quite now in use because I'm using this list type of layout types, but I can show you also how the grid looks like, like this. So you see immediately it works. And then of course you have also the stack one. Some people do prefer the stack one. Then we have some options here on the detail settings, like center to currently running application labeling the app, hiding the search bar, and you have also some gesture settings. Now, please do know that when you click here, there's gonna be apparently some more options here. Like for example, this one is just on and off, right? But if you click down below one, you're gonna to get to adjust a bit more settings. And actually I made a video about this in more detail, so you can check it up here. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go back to Galaxy Store and I'm going to hit the update, guys. Once this is updated, we're gonna be going back to the home app and actually seeing what other new things we are able to find. Now, this version is the version 12.1.05.11, the version from Samsung One Year Home. It is right now installed. So my recommendation is after updating the home screen, you know, just make sure to close it all. Now, how can we check if we really have updated it? Very easy, guys. Do like this, go into settings. Then you're gonna see about home screen. It is running indeed the very latest version. So latest version here is 12.1.05.11. Okay, all right, let's quickly see if there are any new settings here on the home screen. So we still have here the home screen layout, home and app screen, okay, this was there before. Then we have home screen grid. It is pretty much the same. We have app screen grid, folder grid, show app screen button on home screen, lock the home screen layout, adding a new application to home screen, also hiding some apps if you don't like them to appear. Then you have the app icon badges. You have swiping down for notification panel, which is quite handy. Let me just show you guys. This, when you do like this, you're gonna get immediately your notification, okay? Quite, quite nice. Let me just go back into the home settings. Okay, then we're gonna have also the rotation to landscape mode, which is something I love from One UI. And we have the version, of course, of the home screen. Now let's go back into Good Lock and see if we're gonna get this update from Home App. Opening the Good Lock. By the way, you'll notice right now that I'm running a Good Lock that is patched by Corsicano. The only reason for me to do so is because this Good Lock is really patched and it's region free. And I made a video about it. So if you really wanna get the Good Lock, which is the official Samsung stock manager for all the nice Good Lock modules, that's the way to go. I was really getting tired about clearing my cache and storage and using some VPN because you know that good luck is not available in all of the countries. All right, I'm gonna go here to home up, okay? See, home up version is still 2011, so it's the same one. I'm gonna hit the update button here. So we're gonna go to the Corsicana repository and I wanna see here if we have some new updates for the home app. Certainly what we can see is that the home app is still 2011 and this is actually in line with the version that I got. So no new updates to 0011. Now having the Galaxy home screen updated, I'm gonna head back to the Galaxy store and see if we're not gonna get an update there on the home app, All right? No, but we have updates on Samsung Checkout, we have updates on Video Trimmer, Bitmoji, and some apps that are not stopped like Speak Test by Okla and Microsoft Office. But nevertheless, guys, there is a new version from the Samsung Home Launcher and it provides more stability, bug fixing. They say that it works quite nice with gestures. So honestly, I'm looking forward to test this. I really hope that you like videos like this. If that's the case, guys, please support me by subscribing to the channel. A sub will be much appreciated. And with that said, guys, please you and your family stay safe. VST over and bye.